One of the key tenets of AAFS is maintaining ongoing collaborative relationships with international groups. Joining us now is AAFS member and president of the International Association of Forensic Sciences, Claude Brew. Good morning. Good day. Or, good day, <laughs> there you go. All right, now we're talking. Let's get started with how important you think it is for AAFS to have these relationships with international groups. I think it's really critical. Um, I think the AAFS, uh, you know, by definition, is the American Academy of Forensic Sciences. Mm -hmm. However, uh, it's fair to say that forensic science is a global enterprise, a global endeavor. Uh, there is a, a very strong global community. And I think simply because of the size of uh, the USA and also uh, all the capacity uh, that you have in your country, um, it makes sense uh, really to, um, to make links you know, internationally. Some of the issues we're facing at the moment um, really are, are global and very complicated. So um, not a single country, let alone organization, um, can sort these problems. Um, so it's extremely important to have a, um, a collective approach and important to have an international approach as much as we can. Yeah, really, in a way, the world has never been smaller. I mean, we are more connected now than ever. So how important is data sharing among groups and different organizations? Oh, this is critical as well. Um, I think it's, it's a very interesting point you make that the, the world is shrinking and, and um, talking about data sharing, uh, because these are topics which are um, have made the application of forensic science or an, an investigation and even interpretation of forensic evidence um, more difficult in recent times uh, because a lot of the of the traces we deal with are um, you know in, in digital format so so again um, all that uh, shows that we need uh, a very strong international collaboration um, the the criminal landscape and security landscape uh, has completely changed in, in recent years and it has become more international um, more nimble um, um, very smart in, 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 in some cases and again, one single country can't tackle these issues. No kidding, right. Um, so in your opinion, do you believe that the divide is shrinking between the different facets of forensic science groups? I'm not sure we should talk about a, a divide. I think there they are probably differences that are linked to uh, some cultural and legal aspects uh, because we shouldn't forget that um, you know, forensic science is science, and science is universal by definition. However, uh, how we use this, this science is heavily uh, depending on uh, the legal system and cultural, sociocultural uh, peculiarities of, of the various countries. So there will always be some, some differences. Um, however, um, I think in recent times, y the answer is yes, that, uh, you know, th the divide, if you want, has, has been shrinking simply because of in this day and age, it's, it's so much easier to, to collaborate. And, and we've seen that um, during the pandemic that uh, uh, actually I never had as many international meetings. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, because simply it was so much easier to go on Zoom or Teams and, right. and, and have all these connections. Right. And you mentioned international meetings, so we certainly want to talk about uh, the IEFS meeting that is coming up in November. You are hosting folks in your home country, in Sydney. Tell us what we can expect. Oh, look, it, it, I think it's going to be a fantastic meeting. Um, it, it was a bit, I must say, <laughs> a Groundhog Day or Back to the Future because <laughs> the meeting was meant to be in 2020. Uh, we had a full meeting set up. We, we had the full scientific program set up and, and, and then the virus hit. Right. Uh, so we had to postpone everything. So uh, we had a bit of a dry run, if you want. Uh, so we know exactly where we're going. So look, uh, Sydney is a fantastic city. Uh, it's a very vibrant city. The meeting will be held uh, in Darling Harbour, uh, which is a fantastic place. Uh, a lot of entertainment, a lot of things to do. The Sydney Harbour is, is ma magnificent. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess more importantly, we put a very strong scientific program in place. So the theme of the meeting is where to from here. Okay. So just going back to all these sort of big challenges, uh, changes in society, changes in, in crime and security, changes in forensic science. Um, how we are moving from there to be more more effective, um, to have a bigger impact, not only on, on, on crime um, solving, but also things like crime disruption, crime prevention, you know, broader societal issues. Right. Um, and uh, we'll have um, 
we have 22 disciplines, so it's across the board, uh, but also we are trying to remove silos. Right. So we'll have initiatives to, um, to remove all these silos and have a true transdisciplinary approach. So really considering forensic science as, as one big right. discipline, if you want an umbrella. Wonderful. Well, a lot to look forward to. And you know, Sydney's on a lot of people's bucket list, so I'm sure you won't have that many people decline coming in November. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Pleasure.